Once upon a time, back when the Roman Empire was split into two, a young man named Constantine ruled the West Empire while Maxentius was the ruler of the East. They were the best of friends, but secretly each one desired complete power over the Roman Empire. One day, while they were riding horses on the Milmion Bridge, Constantine saw the perfect chance to oust his enemy to become the emperor of the entire Roman Empire. Thus, the civil war broke out in 312 AD. At the Battle of Milvion Bridge, the mighty Constantine won a significant victory. Within ten years, a triumphal arch would be erected to commemorate his victory, and there our story continues. The arch was dedicated to Constantine on his decanalia, the 10th anniversary of his reign. It is located in Rome between the Colosseum and the Palatine Hill, spanning over the Via Sacra, where all the triumphal leaders would march after a victory. During the designing of the arch, Constantine dismantled other imperial monuments for the construction of the majority of the arch, like ones in the Forum of Trajan, the Column of Marcus Aurelius, and monuments from Hadrian. Each piece was originally supposed to depict a certain emperor, but then the images were changed to depict Constantine. The general measurements of the arch as follows. The height is 21 meters, the width is 7.4, and the length is 25.6. The main archway is 12 meters high, and the two lateral archways measure 7 meters high. Apart from noticing the arches, the next thing seen is the inscription above the center arch on both sides, which briefly states the accomplishments of Constantine. On the attic, which is the portion above the archways, lies eight panels mounted in pairs. These panels, referred to as the Hadrianic roundels, depict hunting and sacrifices to gods, which serve as metaphors to illustrate both the military and religious roles of the emperor. They can be dated back to Hadrian's reign due to the style of structures, but it is unknown about their original source. Along the monument, various relief sculptures depict scenes from battles, victorious figures, coin trophies, and different gods. One that is mostly celebrated is the Great Pose, a relief structure that runs around the monument depicting Constantine and his army and all the events leading up to his triumph at the Milvion Bridge. Above the columns are eight marble statues depicting Dickian war prisoners, most likely taken from the form of Trajan. It is the last and largest arch in the city and most flamboyant in its use of colored stone. The colored stone was on an elaborate color, but the color being tan. It is hard to see the colored marble today due to almost 1,700 years of going through every weather situation possible. However, this arch is one of the most preserved monuments in all of Rome, and if you visit today, you can still see all the aspects named earlier. When you go and visit this wonderful arch, just remember the history behind it and the young man who accomplished one of the greatest victories in the history of the Roman Empire, and maybe even the history of our world today.